Good morning. Today we're looking at example 3 of section 7.1, Approximating Definite Intervals as Sums of Business Calculus with Excel. We're looking at the area under f of x equals exp of minus 0.06x times 0235 going from 0 to 15. This might be understood as the amount you get from an income stream that is decreasing in value at 6% per year starts at 235. We want to know how much we have by year 15. What's to be noted is the setup on this will be almost keystroke for keystroke the same as the setup was on example 3. In this time we're going you have a, a function e to the minus 0.06x times 235 going from 0 to 15. Example 2 we went from 0 to 4, the function was x times 4 minus x. But I'm setting up my same columns, x, x, n, x sub n, f of x sub n, the area of the rectangle, and the summed area using offset to find it. So that if I look at my example previously, I have all of my formulas. If I go to example 3 and look at the formulas, I'm seeing the same formulas except in this column here where I'm looking at the function and so I've changed the function but I've kept the rest of the worksheet pretty much exactly the same. The point of this exercise is precisely that that all I have to do is plug in an A, a B, a number of intervals it'll compute the width of an interval and then I need to come up with the formula for the function and use that all the way through. And so we simply say I'm interested in a hundred subintervals. A hundred subintervals. Notice the width is 0.15. I'm evaluating and so with 100 intervals I'm looking at area equals 2.3 three one three eight two five to get a better approximation I simply say let's look at what happens at 500 intervals and it looks very similar except with 500 intervals I'm getting two point three two two one seven eight one seven eight that's a better approximation we're getting a little more if I try a thousand intervals Again, I'm going to get something very similar. With a thousand intervals, it becomes 2.323223. And the only difference, if I wanted to go more, I would simply have to make sure that my table went far enough down. It only goes up to a thousand. Again, we're approximating doing this. All of these are giving us approximations to the same number, the area under that curve. Thank you.